everyone uh, this is Alex USA days so there are a couple of things that came up in the last video that people asking about so I wanted to answer that uh, one is can you explain how testers will test jobs done uh, by AI and the uh, other one I agree with your AI assessment saying that you know right now AI is not perfect and it's coming up with things randomly but aren't those AI issues you have as an example fixable and if it's fixable would AI replace humans in this case Okay, so uh, let me read you a case uh, from the company that was doing like training for English. So English as language, not anything in programming. Uh, International English Language Testing System. Uh, this is designed to standardize tests of English language for non-native English speakers, right? So what the company did, and I'm reading th from their post, uh, we invested nearly $100,000 in several months in effort to harness AI for providing feedback uh, to IELTS students. Uh, so students that take tests, they will get an assessment normally from a human saying what they need to correct. So they were trying to gather AI, grab different assessments, and then provide assessments that AI would give to a student in order to make it more accessible. Because giving assessment based on the test results by a human is uh, expensive, right? So they spent some time uh, using AI, and what they found out that uh, our collaboration with world-class AI company unfortunately did not yield the success we hoped for. The AI's feedback was inconsistent and often misleading, more often hindering than helping. Our main discovery was that GPT-style AI is adept at generating language but not at analyzing it. Adding to the complexity is the AI's design to appear credible, which misled many students into overestimating its usefulness. Incorporating thousands of examiner reports as our methodology, we thought to refine the AI's accur accuracy, yet the feedback resembled the assurances of someone who seems knowledgeable on the surface, but lacks depth upon closer examination. So this is the thing. Um, doesn't matter. Like The more you train the AI, it's still going to be more generic than a professional it will get you the generic outcomes and responses and um, even if you fix certain things let's say hallucination that it provides data that doesn't exist right now there's still going to be new data that's going to be added to the system so unless the ai always properly monitored trained and verified to be working as expected you will always find out the similar issues happening ever over and over again uh, that means, you know, you added new users, they have some new sort of formatting to those users, AI will be applying old methods to those users, creating tons of issues because that's how it was trained. So it wasn't trained on new data or training on new data wasn't enough to cover that case and so on. There's so, so many different examples that can come up from this. Like the example I was giving on the AI uh, making a policy when user asking about the refund policy on airplane tickets, the AI didn't have any. So it found other policies that exist and came up with a new one. Absolutely that never existed. So I think, um, if we talk about fixing the AI and, you know, AI becoming more advanced, yes, sure, it will happen. But un until the AI will become sentient or sentient, anyway, until the AI will actually start thinking as a human, uh, which they actually predict may happen in, I don't know, 10, 15 years from now, may happen. Uh, but until that happens... Uh, everything that the AI will be doing, it will be analyzing data provided. And if the data provided is inaccurate or not up to date, you will have inconsistent, inaccurate results. Or the requests that are based on the data that doesn't exist in the system also will have weird responses. So that means um, even if you fix one thing, there's, there's still built-in problems into the AI itself that will always show. Um, so how do we test the AI, how testers will, what will be the test jobs uh, of testers? So a couple things, right? So first testers will have to do uh, and make sure that the data quality is correct. So um, providing cases where the there is a crucial pass for the user that it provides consistent, accurate results as a response on those cases. Uh, then uh, making sure that there's no bias um, 
you know and there was a lot of jokes about the examples was i think google ai generating images uh, someone was doing there was something really really like crazy so someone asking like portrait soldiers from nazi soldiers from world war ii and uh ai was returning all those diversity portraits of different nationalities that were non-white and like uh, nazi soldiers so something like really you know a normal human wouldn't generate when asked like that right or about that uh so bias that comes back so to make sure there is no deviation towards one or the other because of the data that this was uh, trained on that it's actually providing accurate historically or expected accurate results uh, so testing uh, for bias um, testing for data quality so uh, they make sure that the data comes complete and there's no irrelevant data provided uh, there is there's something called over um overfitting and underfitting. So overfitting when uh, the model performs well on training data, but poorly on new data, uh, data, unseen data due to overfitting to specific patterns. So it will grab the new data that it wasn't properly trained on or not enough trained, and it will take the old patterns on working with the data uh, and pretty much generate something that may not be needed or expected or generally wrong and then there's underfitting so model is too simplistic to capture the underlying patterns in the data leading to poor performance on both training and test data so i think this is what exactly happened was the feedback that uh, they were trying to provide to students studying for international english exams that it was underfitting the the data uh, the model wasn't deep enough to understand the complexity of the response it should give to a student to improve their um, to improve their English right so um, lack of transparency and explainability so you have to check with the AI how it came to certain con conclusions and why especially if they're wrong AI yeah, should be able to to explain what was the process behind the scenes why it actually went and uh, grabbed a certain solution especially if it was a wrong solution so uh, scalability and efficiency uh, what happens if there's latency? What happens if there's uh, a lot of resource required or extensive amount of requests happening with the AI, right? Because there's a lot of um, power consumptions and many users using the AI may cause problem to the AI responding to all of the users, right? Uh, ethical and security concerns. So uh, if there is any privacy violation, uh, if there are any private data exposed, um, security vulnerabilities so there was this research actually that um, the countries that were not as advanced in uh, programming say like um, uh, with dicta dictatorships are using uh, training models uh, llm training models or ai uh, to come up with sol solutions how to hack into different systems so there is I mean, you can override some of the blocks on the AI, but uh, there is AI that working for those uh, um, countries that violate like human rights and uh, unethical in, in the ruling, and then they help them with their hacking effort to to personal data on like big corporations and uh, companies, your social security, whatever that might be, uh, the hackers trying to get access into. So that thing as well is a, is a problem in itself, but you know, how do you, how do you make sure that when you have AI in the future, it doesn't do that. You can't like go around the blocks that prevent from doing that. Right. Um, there's also regulatory and compliance issues. So the regulations, differ from like state to state regulations different from uh county to county so you know there's no ai that fits all and it has to be trained and understand specifics in in the region if you work in a highly regulated industry like healthcare or a law for that particular place uh for that particular county and country and country and and state uh so the responses that provide it provides it it is they're accurate right so what does it um, uh, so what does it mean for testing? So for testing, that means that a lot of the testing around the AI will still be very similar to what is done today by uh, mostly like manual testers and automation testers. Uh, verification of 
the stories that were released you're just doing the acceptance taking the testing against the requirements making sure that everything working as expected and continuous uh, monitoring and maintenance uh, and uh, regression testing to make sure there's no uh, anything no regressions there's no wrong answers no no wrong data generated no uh, like bad data put in into the system whatever you're testing but it stays consistently uh w within the scope of the requirements so new updates or new data introduced doesn't break it generally speaking how do you test work done by ai well uh same same way how you test the work done by developers uh you make sure that the product is doing what's supposed to do uh, you verify features that are in development and being released and you keep on doing uh, regression testing making sure that the all things still work as expected and nothing got broken uh, that's in a nutshell okay so hopefully that helps uh, this was alex you say days thanks for watching bye bye